Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisa Girl Tarot. So, we're here to do my Sagittarius reading for the first half of July. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Sagittarius. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. Okay? I do want you to check out your other placements, though. Okay? Um, you typically go by Sun sign, but definitely go check your Moon, your Rising, and your Venus. Okay? I'm doing a little bit of a different spread, but I'm going to walk you through it. All right? And I've been changing up how I read it. Like... Throughout all the signs to find out my best flow. So don't worry, you'll understand. Okay. All right. For you, Saggy, first half of July. All right. Overall energy. I'm using my messages of love oracle. The overall energy is friendship. It says this this blah, 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 blah. yeah. <laughs> this friendship is leading to more. Okay. So there's a friendship that's leading to more. With balance right behind that. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Okay. So the friendship is leading to more. But somebody might be giving a little too much. Okay. Currently, the energy is longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Okay. Missing you. Wanting to touch and feel and smell you. Mm -hmm. What happened in the recent past? Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Okay. So maybe you guys reconnected, okay? Immediate future, leap of faith. It's safe to take the move, to make the move you're considering, okay? Yeah. This is all happening because trust. It is safe to trust in this situation, all right? And the advice passion try something you've never done before okay all right so let's clarify this i'm going to clarify each position twice now which one i clarify first i've been switching that up but right now we're going to start with the oral energy of friendship there is a friendship that is leading to more why is friendship here for my saggies Okay, first half of July. There is a friendship that is leading to more for Sag. Okay, control. Okay, with beliefs on the bottom. Stagnation, delusion, release the need to control situations. Similar or clashing belief systems can bring you together, keep you apart. So, someone might be trying to control something. Maybe within a friendship or with someone that you're dating that could be just a friend right now but it could be more someone could be trying to control maybe the pace of it maybe like you know how it should go or you know whatever the case may be spirit is like release control okay because all that can bring you together push you apart for real just relax all right let's see what else for you saggy why is friendship here for my sag as the overall energy with control why is friendship here? Okay, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn energy. Okay, um, with the devil. All right, could be done for Capricorn, the devil energy. Okay, the devil energy can also be like it's unhealthy patterns. But it's also like addiction. Okay, so you can have someone around you that you might, you know, see as an addiction. Okay. Um. Yeah, someone can also be realizing their like flaws, traits, right? So with this King of Pentacles, this Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, this person could be realizing that they have an unhealthy pattern of being controlling. Okay. Yeah. With the Ten of Swords, it could have caused some type of betrayal between you guys. Okay. Yeah. And they're now realizing that. Okay. With the Ace of Swords. That they can be coming to talk to you about it. All right. And um, that's left them in this like energy of dissatisfaction. You know, they understand that they might have pushed the situation away, away because they were trying to control stuff, you know, or that they... Are, you know, could be missing out on a great opportunity because they're trying to, like, control stuff, okay? With this Knight of Cups, someone could be definitely coming in with a love offer after a long time coming of nothing, okay? Um, and giving you 
some like recognition and appreciation because they're saying that they control, you know, they're trying to control stuff. Right? You might have been given too much in this situation with the balance card. Okay. So the current energy is longing. But let's go back. Let's go back to what happened in the recent past so we can get some history. It says play hard. It's time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Okay. Play hard. It's time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Why is play hard here for my Sagis first half of July? Yeah, wanna come. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. With well, love is blooming. Okay, spring. Your answers arrive in spring. As well as karmic partner on the bottom. Okay. So maybe, you know, spending time together, maybe reconnecting. Um, you know, the laughing and goofing off and enjoying each other cause maybe some love to bloom between you and a friend. Okay. Uh, where someone can see a conventional relationship. Okay. Anything else for play hard in the recent past for my Sagis? Play hard. Yeah, mirroring. Mm -hmm. With forgive, okay? So if the mirroring card coming out, this is like you guys both feeling the same way, okay? Like, you know what? I forgive you. You forgive me. Let's come into union. With the union card being right there, right? That's what happened in the recent past. Okay? Don't tell me it didn't. You know, if it didn't, then this ain't your story, right? <laughs> and don't try to make it fit if it don't. That's it. Why is play harder in the recent past for Sagis? Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. And the Four of Wands. So this is a stable offer. Okay. This is a this is a this is a stable offer, but it's also a serious one. Okay. So someone is, you know, making a serious offer. Like, listen, do you want to try being together? You know? With the four of wands, okay, and the high priestess. In the Knight of Swords, it's like someone really, really, really knows like this is what they want because they see you as a wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups. Yeah. All right. You guys are laughing and goofing off and playing hard together mm -hmm. with the Queen of Wands. Okay. And Temperance. All right. This is someone being Sagittarian energy, um, seeing you maybe from a different light. Okay. The anxiety maybe around, you know, who you are has been tempered. Okay, and they're ready to give love, okay? Even regret maybe not doing this in the past, okay? Yeah. Play hard for Saggy. Play hard for Sag. Six of Pentacles, okay? And the Nine of Swords, okay? And this is someone um, with the Six of Pentacles that's equal give and take, give into the situation, um, yeah, this is someone that now sees that this is something that they want to give to. This is something they want to participate in, okay? Whatever anxiety they had, it caused them to wait, okay? It caused them to put put things on, like, hold, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm questioning. I don't know. I don't know. I'm questioning. It caused, it caused stagnation towards some, building anything, right? Okay. This is... The reason why. Let's go with that. Okay. Let's go with why. Okay. The influence is trust. It is safe to trust in this situation. I feel like, you know, with the mirroring card, this person might have had trust issues and you might have also had some trust issues when it comes to this friend. Okay. Why is trust here for my Saggies as the influence? First half of July. Okay. Separation, yeah, and self-work, okay? So it says no contact, 5D, dreams, nightmares, focus on your own happiness, okay? Um, so the influence is maybe the separation, okay? Could have helped um, someone know their self-worth, okay? Yeah. Yeah, because maybe they realize something about themselves as far as like being superficial, um, learning to trust in situations. Okay, let's see. Why is trust and separation the influence for my Saggies first half of July? Why is trust and separation the influence? Ooh, okay, okay. 
All right. We have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, okay? That's Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy, okay? The Devil energy, all right? Capricorn with the Hangman, Pisces. And the Seven of Cups. Yeah. So during this separation, someone realized... Um, that the decisions that they've made in the past, maybe, or the decisions that they've made, maybe around relationship, have, haven't been the best. Devil energy, right? And that is creating this stagnation in them uh, around, like, making decisions around, like, love and partnership, Ten of Cups, okay? Maybe they realize in a separation, like, you can trust in this situation, Okay. And even more so, probably from spending time with you, laughing, joking, okay, enjoying time with, each, time with each other, okay. It's like someone that maybe had some time to connect to their feminine side in a separation, okay, with this Queen of Swords energy. We had a King of Pentacles in, over here, Queen of Wands here, okay. Yeah, and seeing how they didn't make the best decisions in relationship and how those decisions or those um, experiences have influenced them to the point where they don't know how to make decisions. Okay. So currently, yeah, and they want to, they want to change that. Yeah. So currently someone is longing for you. Okay. Or you them. Why is longing here? Someone is secretly yearning for you currently for my Saggies first half of July. Why is longing here? For my saggies. Uh-huh. Yeah. Fertility. Okay. So now someone's like really seeing what all this could be. You know? So they're going to make an offer. Okay. They're going to make an offer, um, a gesture or an engagement or um, a wedding. Okay. Um, but it says gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoice in your union. I feel like they're going to make an offer maybe for the long term. Okay. Maybe to like really try out this whole relationship thing. Um, because you have to appreciate Okay, it says your twin appreciates you. See the blessings, practice appreciation. I do feel like this person seeing you as a blessing. Okay, seeing your worth, seeing how you are an asset to relationships and you would be a great partner for them. Okay, and material world. Okay, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. Probably also seeing how stable you are as well. Okay, and with the fertility card here and awakening, they're awakening to all the possibilities. Okay. You guys could probably get a big-ass house, beautiful cars, investments, uh, building businesses, and all type of stuff. They're seeing all the growth and, <laughs> you know, right now, currently, okay? Let's see. Let's clarify. Why is longing here currently for my saggies? Why is longing here currently for my saggies? Yeah. Page of Wands. It's communication um, about heartbreak. Okay, and the decisions that they might have made. Okay, with the full energy, someone might be ready to take that leap now. Okay, maybe um, communicating how they made a foolish decision. Okay, maybe not, you know, taking this serious in the past. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. The Five of Wands is about conflict. Um, maybe talking about the conflict that could have occurred in the past. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Swords. Okay, with the Three of Wands energy. Yeah, that caused them to wait out of fear of a tower, okay? Someone could have, could be coming to you now because they're longing for you with an offer, um, showing their appreciation, okay? Because they're seeing the possibilities in a connection with you, okay? Wanting to talk about the conflict of why maybe things didn't progress for, why there was a wait, okay? Um, wh what the conflict was, why the Ten of Swords occurred, okay? Yeah. Your advice is passion. Try something you've never done before. Okay? So, maybe you got a rule. Maybe you're like, oh, I don't date friends. No, 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 I don't date friends. Friend might be like, try something you ain't never done before. Okay, let's see. Why is passion here the advice for my saggies? Why is passion the advice for my saggies? Please make it clear, first half of July. Passion. 
passion, fertility, okay? With sacred space, okay? It says fresh ideas manifest growth, plant your seeds, okay? Um, Spirit is saying, listen, with the sacred space card, find your altar, do some prayers, candles, or whatever. Commune with your divinity because this could actually be fertile. This could go somewhere, okay? So try something you ain't never done before. How about you pause before you make a decision, okay? All right? Maybe that's what you need to do. Why is passion here as the advice for my sages? Mm -hmm. King of Swords. Before you make a decision, okay, a foolish one, okay, with the full energy, um, before you make a decision, King of Swords, all right, to jump and go into whatever direction, all right, don't if you are up in your head, okay, because that ain't doing nothing but bringing deception to you, okay, you're not being truly honest with what, you know, what you want, okay? You're not sure, all right? If you're not sure, Spirit's like, listen, go on a sacred space and pray. Talk to your divine, okay, your divinity, okay? And your, um, and, and, and yeah, before you make a decision, because this could actually be fertile, okay? With the sun card, yep, and the star. This could be everything that you wanted. All right, so don't bam out to some. Okay, you're in the immediate future. It says it's safe to take to make the move you're considering. Leap of faith. Okay. okay. I right, said you. Let's see. Why is leap of faith here in the immediate future for my sages? Leap of faith. Full sage. First half of July. Okay. We get divine timing. Patience, perseverance, peace, trust. The divine knows when. Okay. And free will. Choices, decisions, contact, and action. Action cannot be forced. So you might be like, now they want to make an offer? Listen. Leap of faith. It is safe to make the decision you're considering, okay? Trust the divine knows when, okay, uh, something needs to come through. The divine knows when an offer should have happened. However, you have free will. You make the decision that you want, right? But Spirit's like, before you make a foolish decision with the food energy, this could actually be everything that you want. Try something you ain't never done before. Okay? Because if something wasn't moving forward, stuck with the masculine, no, it's because it wasn't the right time. But you make the decision, free will. Right? Mm -hmm. So in the future, future, Spirit said, it is safe to make the decision you're considering. If you're, if in the immediate future, like, you're not, like, talking to the person or haven't spoken to the person or, um, not come making a decision, okay, with the four swords, not doing anything, okay, that is you sabotaging this connection, okay? Leap of faith in the immediate future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the two of pentacles, Okay, this is juggling a decision, okay? Not speaking up, procrastinating, sabotaging uh, a situation in the immediate future, not making a decision, juggling, going back and forth. I don't know. You're going to regret that, okay? You're going to regret that decision with the judgment energy, five of cups. Someone that you have, haven't been speaking to, the hermit energy, who might have juggled in the past, they regret that, 
okay? Understand that things happen in divine timing, but it's safe to um, make the decision you're considering. You take this leap, okay? With judgment being here and a Ten of Wands. Um, yeah. 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 Judgment being here in the Ten of Wands, this is someone that's like, they feel guilty. It's heavy guilt. With the Five of Cups and the Judgment and the Ten of Wands, this is heavy guilt. You know, and they're ready to like move something forward. Okay, they feel bad about the decisions that they made. Okay, if you procrastinate, if you're the procrastinator in the immediate future, you'll feel bad about that decision. Okay, so just you know, apply how it fits. All right, all right. So that's what I have for you, should. I hope this helps. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Wish you guys already. Bye.